down the back with the man's comb, both single comb and double comb. Let's show you what it looks like. Single comb, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Double comb, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Okay, that's what it looks like. What are we doing? The lady's doing an outside turn. Guys, what's different is you have a handshake hold. Instead of left, it's right hand. So shake your partner's hand, introduce yourself. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Okay, handshake hold. I will basically lead a lady's outside turn with this cross hand hold. Let's show you what that looks like. Quick, quick, slow. Notice I switch my hand so it's comfortable. Quick, quick slow. Now here, I don't drop the arm completely down because I know it's going to go over my own head. So I bring it down about halfway and then as I dance in this position, I will bring my hand over my head. So it'll be quick, quick, slow, let go of the hand, slow. So if I'm not doing my footwork, I'm just draping the hand and letting go. Normally on the back step, you can take as many steps as you like. It can be like this, and then slowly like that. I think it's more effective if it's done in about one measure. Okay, let's show you what that looks like. Again, this is the single cone. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Okay, double cone. Double comb starts the same way, handshake hold. However, take the other hand underneath, underneath, not on top, underneath. Same figure, ladies outside turn. Quick, quick, slow. Both hands now go over the head. Keep contact, fingertips work best. Quick, quick, slow. Again, don't drop the hands all the way. Leave them about halfway. The top hand goes over your head because that one just doesn't work. So quick, quick, slow, let go, quick, quick, slow. And that's the double cone. Let's show you that once more. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. So one tip is that you might want to angle your body in order to get the hands over your head more easily. So after the turn, we've got this hand here. Now notice that Ken and I both come in kind of yes, at an angle yes, here. Yes. Makes it comfortable. It's more quick, comfortable to do it that quick. way than it would be to do it straight on, which would be... Unless I have really long arms, and right. I might be, but I don't. Right. So the angle's quick, here. Quick, so, and again here, a little more comfortable to angle it quick, quick, slow. So nothing else changes except the body angles just a little bit. And ladies, you're doing your regular underarm uh, footwork and then your back break and forward break. Nothing changes for you. It's just all in the arms. Okay. And then we'll show you that once again from two different angles. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. And we'll turn this way. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Love that figure. Thanks for watching.